Hello, my name is Michelle Simon, and I'm an application engineer here at Serotech. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to create assignment lists for your workflows. Assignment lists can be created by any user, but only DBA users can create lists that will be shared to the entire organization. So here I'm logged in as a DBA user, and we'll navigate to this assignment list tile on the home page. Now we can begin creating a new assignment list. So here is where I can choose what workflow I want to create the assignment list for. I'll be using this formal release workflow and I'll give it a name here. And I'm going to choose to share it to the entire organization. Now, again, any user can create an assignment list, but only DBA users will have this option here. Once I click add, my release list is now created. Um, make sure you're in edit mode. If you're not, you're going to see a start edit option right here. But I am successfully in edit mode, so I can begin making some changes. I only want to modify these three tasks here um, because I want initiate workflow and problem resolution tasks to be assigned back to the person who starts the workflow. That's going to be the default, so I don't need to make any changes. Now to add an assigned reviewer to design review task, I'll click on that task. And now I can see that I actually have a requirement uh, for who is going to be my reviewer. So if I select that requirement, uh, the right side panel of users is going to be filtered down according to my requirements. And I can go ahead and choose anyone from this list. So I'm going to choose Larry here. And once I select him, I can assign uh, this user as my reviewer. And then I can uh, confirm my selection by hitting modify at the bottom. And now you can see his name has populated the table here. So I'm going to do the same thing for the other two tasks. So for my manager acknowledger task, I'll select my requirement, choose a user, select a sign, and then modif hit modify. And for my last task here, engineering reviewer, I actually need two required engineers. So when I select this, I'm also going to select two users. And then I will hit assign and modify. So now you can see that the table has populated with my assigned reviewers and acknowledgers in the proper column. Once, I, once you're happy with uh, the users that you've assigned, you can go ahead and click edit and save edit. And now we have our assignment list. So here I'm standing on an item I'd like to release. So I'll go ahead and submit it to a workflow. And I'm going to select the formal release workflow, which is what we created the assignment list for. And now I can hit the assignments tab. And I can see here we have a drop down for the assignment list. I'll hit on that and I see the release list I just created. Once that's checked off, uh, we'll see that the proper users are assigned to their specific tasks. And I can hit submit and the workflow will be assigned to the proper users. So that's how we create an assignment list and use it in a workflow. Thanks for watching and have a great day.